Hi everyone, it's Stephanie with Glitiful. Um, today we're gonna do a beach tumbler. Uh, with summer approaching, it is an awesome cup to have poolside, beachside, so we're gonna do them. Um, the colors that we're gonna use are all Glitiful. Um, we're going to be using champagne. We're going to be using a, this fun holographic chunky, it's called Atlantis. Another holographic blue, it's called Blue Moon. It's my absolute favorite, as you can see, I've used it a lot. You're going to need Tim Holtz uh, Mixative, a white alcohol ink. Um, I've heard India inks are really good too. It just has to be white. This is gonna kind of create like the little foamish white waves. So you're gonna need that. Um, I have my little makeshift shakers uh, ready for um, my glitters epoxy ready i have 40 mls total but i'm also going to be doing uh a, other cups after this tutorial so that's why i have a lot mixed up but you don't need a ton just normal um what i'm going to be using is a wine glass so it's not going to be your typical tumbler same um same method just i'm just using a wine glass and i have already prepped my cup it is spray painted with flat white krylon spray paint all right, so let's get All to right. it. All right, so um, your first step is going to be placing your epoxy down so that you have epoxy already um, churning as once you put down your glitters, okay? And I'm using a silicone brush to place the epoxy on the cup. Uh, this way I just save my glove. I love these brushes. They're so easy to use. Um, it does the same thing as if you were gonna use your finger. Like I said, I'm all about reduce, reuse, recycle. So if I can save my glove, that makes me happy. And you're gonna keep um, covering your cup with epoxy until your into your cup is entirely covered you want quite a good about amount so that your glitters can shift and move a little bit um, it's not entirely like an ombre kind of shift but you still want them to semi blend a little bit together at, um, so that it looks like the beachfront you know when you have the sand and uh, the water coming together and obviously the darker, the blue moon is going to be the darker part of uh, the ocean. All right. If you guys are still watching this video, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel. So you can see more of our tutorials and things that we have going on. Uh, we do showcase a lot of our glitter that we have on our shop on here too. So you guys can be the first to see the new glitter options that we're getting. Now the cool thing with epoxy is it's self-leveling so even if the brush has like some parts where it's kind of it looks like uh like rigid it will self-level out so i'm not worried about that as long as my cup is entirely covered i'm happy and i will um, hit this with a heat gun so that i can um like take away any bubbles that i may have before i actually lay my my glitters down and I have a silicone mat underneath so I can catch the epoxy anything that drips because I tend to be messy with my epoxy and it'll come right off as soon as it dries so it's pretty awesome and I got quite a few to, a few of them around same thing with my silicone brush the tip is um the tip is silicone so it just comes right off once it's dry all 
All right, and I'm gonna clean this off even though it does dry, but I'm going to be capturing my glitter um, in a little piece of paper so that I can reuse my glitters. Like anything that I can save, I save. And I can just take the entire silicone mat, but since I'm shifting it around, I like to clean it off. I don't know. I like to save everything. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna hit this with the heat gun really quickly. Make sure that it's running and it's moving so that it levels out very nicely. Okay, so I'm actually going to start off with um, with my gold color with champagne. And the reason why I'm doing that is going to start from the bottom up. So um, I have my matrix shaker and I just did little holes in two of the cups. I'm in love with this color. It's so vibrant. And it you could be a little messy because you're you want this to kind of blend in there. Okay. So now I'm going to move into Atlantis. And Atlantis, this is a chunky. I'm not using the a double cup. I'm just going to go ahead and start laying this down. Oops. I forgot to grab a second cup. A separate, a second paper. And I just love that. And you can add whatever blue you want. I just, I like the depth that this hollow gives it. So that's why I chose um, Atlantis for this. And as you can see, I'm okay with it going down. sweet so this old I'm gonna let this turn around again transfer that over get my next piece of paper or however you like to catch your glitter and I'm gonna go ahead and grab blue moon and I'm gonna do the same thing and like I said I'm okay that it's blending because you want this to blend it is it's supposed to blend. It's supposed to be the ocean. Think about the depths of the ocean and how it looks when you're at the beach. And this is why I said you want it to, you want uh, it to kind of ride up and ride down a little bit. Just think of the water and the, ri the, t the rise and fall of the water. Okay, sweet deal. And in the areas where there's chunky, let me move this to the side. I'm gonna bring back my chunky color. And in the areas where your chunky lifted, you're just gonna pat, pat, pat that down so that no chunkies are sticking up and it makes it hard when you're doing a second layer of epoxy um, and you don't want any of those jagged edges. So you just pat nicely pat and if they fall great um most of the time they won't fall they'll just come they'll just lay flat 
and that's what you want. You want to help it lay flat. Okay. And if you find that there's areas where you just want to add more to it, like I just want to add a little bit more gold, I'm going to go ahead and grab my gold. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, lay that there. Lay, start laying that back down. And so I'm happy with the coverage. And I got some gold up there, I'm okay with that. Nothing that a decal can't fix. And I got a chunky in there that is trying to stick up. I'm going to see about adding some more Atlantis on this just to again give it a little to continue giving it depth. Let's see if I can stick any more on there. You guys are wa probably watching going oh well this doesn't kind of look like a beach cup but just wait this this is a two-part process so you have to lay your um you have to lay your glitters down in this method first and then once this dries you're going to add a second layer of epoxy and this is where we're going to use our alcohol inks to create these beachy waves um so stay tuned okay so we're going to let this dry and um, we'll be back once this is dry to do our second part. All right, so I have let my cup sit overnight. Um, it is fully dry. So the next step to get these beachy waves is we're going to use our mixative, our snow cap mixative by Tim Holtz. Uh, snow cap is the, uh, the name of the the color. We're going to shake this up really well. Anytime that you're using alcohol inks, you want to make sure that you're mixing it up. I have my heating tool nearby because this is going to help us move the alcohol ink once we place the epoxy. I've stirred up some epoxy and I'm going to go ahead and start placing that on there. I'll be using my silicone brush um, for help to lay this on. I love this thing. I can't tell you guys enough how much I love this. The brush is just so easy to use. And we also have these available on our site as well if you guys are interested. All right, so the fun part, I call this the fun part. You don't have to use a lot with um, the alcohol ink. All you're going to do, and be careful because these things run um, very quickly. So a dot, and I'm gonna let that come back around. I'm gonna get my heat gun, and I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna give uh, other places some more whites. Even at the top there, I'm gonna go ahead and give it. Remember, this is going to be kind of like the froth of, I call it froth, uh, of the ocean. Like when the waves kind of hit together, they 
create like these um, little white things. So our job is to make it look more realistic. So this is why you need a heating tool because you're gonna push the ink until it does its movement. And you will see it started to move. All right, and you wanna just keep moving that until you get like the nice little beachy waves. I can already tell right there, if you guys notice, there is, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna let it go back around. There's an area right there that looks, I know I need more epoxy, so I'm just gonna grab my silicone stick brush, <laughs> it's not a stick, a brush, and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add some more epoxy in that area because it needs some more epoxy to help it move. And that's okay, like this is why I always whip up enough. Um, I have a little bit of remainder over and um, it's enough for me to have, in case I need to, you know, hit it again, I have some around. All right, so I'm gonna go back to moving that white around because I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be clumpy like that. I want it to move. So the heating tool allows it to move and break up. And you can move it in any direction that you choose. You can go upward. They say you want it for like the tie to go up. How awesome is that? See, and you, and you guide it. You feel like you wanna add more to, you know, any portion, just add another drop. You didn't need a lot. But that is how you can do a beach tumbler, guys. And it's very easy. Um, it, like I said, you want, if you want it to be a little less um, white in certain areas, just keep hitting it with the heating tool. If you feel like, hey, you know what? It's not running as much. Add a little bit more epoxy to it. Adding more epoxy to it will not hurt it as long as you're not whipping up a different batch. You wanna use the same batch that you had. So for instance, if, let's just say you want it to move that, let's just say this. I'm gonna just add in some places where it's a little more clumpy and I'm just, at this point I'm not using my brush, I'm just laying it on there because I'm, I don't want my brush to move the design. I want the epoxy to move the design. So I've added more epoxy to it and I'm gonna grab my heating tool and I'm gonna let it do its thing. Here's the thing, this is not how it's entirely gonna look by the time it's done spinning. Epoxy is a self leveler. It's going to continue to move and shift until it's done, okay? So with you adding more epoxy to it, all you're allowing it to do is to keep running. So if you are happy with your design, keep in mind adding more epoxy to it will alter the way you liked how it looked okay so you want to make sure that okay am i being too hard on myself should i leave it be at the moment am i okay with how it looks because if you alter it it will change um i'm really loving how this cup came out so i'm not going to add any more to it i think it has the right amount of white into it where we're giving it that really beachy look. Um, so once you let this spin, depending on if your cup is coarse or not, uh, you'll give it another coat of epoxy just to kind of level it all out. Um, if it is level, then you don't need to do anything else but slap a decal and 
epoxy over it. Um, please go ahead and if you've liked this video, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. If you follow this tutorial, I would love to see your creation. So please join us on Glitterful Glitter Fanatics on Facebook. It's our Facebook group and I'd love to see what you've made. Thank you so much for joining me, Stephanie, again from Glitterful. You all have a glitterful day. Bye.